Lunch break. You are watching Lunch Break. Lunch Break. <laughs> Your fairy TV show bringing you the foods that you can make during your break at lunch for lunch break and of course if you've seen from uh, what you call it the uh, title finally we are making sweet and sour chicken with broccoli over rice and that man right over there too hello people in Instagram too so I'm just gonna sit you down here so you can watch the action uh, oh we got a viewer too let's just make sure we are live Watch break! <laughs> Alright. Right. Yeah, we're live. Alright. Awesome. Who's up? Hey, Didi! Alright, so now we're live. Cool, Instagram's going, Facebook is going, we're doing good today, people! <laughs> oh Alright, so, in order to do our, uh oh, what's going on here? Don't start with me now. In order to do our sweet and sour chicken, of course, we're gonna need chicken, which we have right here. Gotta have chicken. Gotta have chicken. Gotta have chicken. Right? Um, <laughs> we're also gonna need. Brown sugar to use for a marinade. Brown sugar. You're gonna need honey. Honey. You're gonna need some garlic powder. What you got right there? Garlic powder. You're gonna need soy sauce, which about you're gonna need like two ounces of it. So each packet is like one ounce each. Two packets. Yeah. And a little bit of spiciness called some red pepper flakes. It looks like a ritual to have garlic in your lunch break. <laughs> it's, it's like it's a munch. It's like in every show. It's, like it's, it's like it's not really lunch break unless there's garlic. You know what's funny? That's probably true. That is yeah, very true. Yeah. Um, and of course, we're going to need our broccoli. Okay. So we can put it in there. And lastly, our rice. And of course, you know, we always have to go with the instant rice because, you know, we don't have time to make rice. It's lunch this break. Place. Right, exactly. It's lunch break. Exactly. So. Right, so let's get to it. Oh, we got messages? Oh, there's one message. All right, good. Um, but before we start anything, we always have to do the number one thing we must always do. Wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. That is right. Wash your hands, people. Especially the chicken. You don't want that uh, mm. salmonella in your stomach. Mm. That means you're going to die. <laughs> you might not die. But <laughs> well, we never know. I don't know. Listen, I'm not... I'm not for telling anybody's future, so yeah, you know. And of course, you know, now that we have the nice, famous trademark, ah, I forgot to put the, uh, the apron. apron. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We got an apron, people. Yeah, it's official. Now it is it's official. official. Lunch break. Soon break. there'll be another official one coming soon lunch for break. the sous chef on this side. Uh, big ass shit. <laughs> I'm still learning. I'm a survival chef, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm <laughs> You. Listen, anybody can cook. I don't care who what anybody says. Anybody can learn to cook. Alright? So, the first thing we're going to do is take our broccoli. Alright? Get a nice little dandy cutter. Here you go. And I'll move you guys so you can see me. Alright? Because the broccoli is going to take a little bit more time to cook. Because we do want it a little bit soft, but not so soft because we like the little crunchiness. Especially when we put it with the sweet and sour chicken. Well, it's better to have crunchy broccoli. That's what that is true. And mind you, anytime you take any produce from any supermarket, gotta rinse it up. Gotta rinse it. Let's get our bowl. Now that broccoli is gonna go in the microwave, correct? Yes, sir. Some water in it, correct? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Someone already knows the whole thing. Oh, look at this too. <laughs> and of course, make sure you watch it. Make Live sure you TV. wash it <laughs> with cold water. <laughs> nah, because you don't want to end up cooking your own food by mistake. Alright. Here's our broccoli. I just made a tree. Okay. That's like a tree. Just don't smoke it. Oh, oh, oh. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right in the stem of this to make them into all little florets. And florets are basically called this. Okay. That's basically a florin. Mm -hmm. Fresh broccoli, I'm sure. Um, not necessary. Like I said, most of this you can actually pre plan ahead of time. Right. You really don't have to do this during the time of your lunch. Okay. You can already have it pre prepared. I'm gonna just dig into the half of these. Only because, you know, this will take away time from your lunch okay. if you cut into it. Right? And people, please, like the safety, don't cut your fingers, okay? Because I ain't paying those medical bills. Right. That's on you. No lawsuits for lunch break. No. We do not cover anybody's losses <laughs> or fingers, right? So what we're going to do here is that we're going to add some cold water into cold this. Water. Cold water, okay. Only halfway. Not full. Oh, halfway. I thought you were going to cover it. No, because what we're going to do is we're going to make it do like a nice little steam effect into this. Okay. Right? So we're going to put it in here. And like I said, this is going to take the longest time to make. Okay, the broccoli takes the longest. Yeah, because we want it soft, but not so soft. Okay. Yeah, the chicken's only going to take like a minute. Okay. Especially the way we're going to do it. Right. Wait to see this style. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now mind you, when you put anything no, in the microwave. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's good because we're at lunch break. Um, make sure you put something underneath this bowl so, so that. that the bowl in the microwave. Yeah. So they can catch the water just in case. That is correct. Because right. you never know, you know, especially when you're steaming anything in the microwave. The water will pop up. Now so we're gonna. Did you, you, you cover it? Or no. No, you don't want to cover it. Only the reason why you don't want to cover it is that the heat will rise much faster and it'll overspill. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? You want to give it enough time to boil underneath and then come to the surface. Got it. Right? Got it. So we're gonna set this for at least four minutes and a half. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we'll check back on it. And that's good for there. Now we're set. Right. Now it says it's broadcasting. So we should have a feed now on Facebook. this side. Yep. So Facebook should be on now. I guess we're good now. We're good. Hello, everybody, once again. The broccoli's already done. <laughs> it's been five, oh, four and a half minutes. Um, we began the process with the broccoli <laughs> cooking. Um, is this everybody's just watching us do some weirdness over there? I don't know. I'm, I'm still trying to catch up to everything. Um, I do see a viewer here now, so I'm assuming Titi's back on. I know, right? It's craziness. I hope it's recording.
Sorry folks, we're trying to make sure we're broadcasting live to y'all. So this way y'all can see this. Oh, I do see a message. Hey, Didi! Yep, okay, so we do see, alright good, so we are live, alright so, we put the broccoli in, we chopped it up, made them into florets, put it in a bowl, put the bowl halfway with water, and stuck it in there for four minutes and a half, now we're up to the chicken, again, oh my god, are you serious, did we lose connection again? Instagram is not on again. Well, we are live, so I guess we'll just continue with the Facebook because uh, the Instagram ain't working now. But let's get to the chicken. So we're gonna wash our chicken with cold water. Cold water. Always had to wash chicken no matter what. Yes. No matter what. And I got the ones that were pretty much cut up for us. So this was to make our job a little bit easier. Yeah, sure, some of that. Uh, yellow off? Oh, no. Some of the fat? I'm just saying because that's how I see my mom do it. That's fat. Okay, okay, yeah. She needs yeah. to take a nice little bit of You know what I'm saying? I'm just cute. You're a different style. You know no, it doesn't like, matter. Like, some people like the fatness. Might be your style. Keep, some, you know what I'm <laughs> some people don't. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's how I do We trim the fat in this place. <laughs> oh, that thing is not loading properly. Did you use the first set? Because we can't see no messages on it. We are still alive, though, at least. Yeah, I just thought I just said yeah. it. Um, just so I'm going to just trim some of the fat that's on here. Now, now I do hear like it's back up, mm -hmm. almost close to the accurateness. Accurateness? Anyway. It's right now, you just made it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, we got three viewers now. <laughs> so I'm just going to try to cut these up at least into a, a quarter inch thick. So this way we can actually work with it a little bit more better. Cutting in there two, two, slicing. Um, put the volume down there, so this is we don't record it. There, you go. Sorry. Cutting them into two. We didn't want to record what I was saying. <laughs> It'd just be weird once I put it in post op. Every piece you slice. Yeah. To make it two pieces. Well, to make it into at least quarter of an inch or each quarter one. Inch, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do that to each one of these. And they're already pretty much pre-cut, so you know what I mean? All I'm doing right now is cutting a little bit more. Just trimming them up a little bit. Yeah, so they can actually cook up a little bit much easier and much gotcha. better when we put it on the grill. Gotcha. Oh, that spot's gonna be fast. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a lot. This is actually a lot. Yep. See what happens when you start carving chicken? It turns into much, much, much bigger. Somebody's going to have that. <laughs> Possibly Renee. <winning. laughs> Alright, so let's get a bowl. So we can stick these guys in for the meantime. Alright. It's okay. 
All right, so we stuck these guys in here. Now, the only thing we're gonna add to this chicken, put that in there for now, is a little bit of olive oil. Like a teaspoon or a tablespoon. Okay, right. very small amount. Now, Mr. Sous Chef, can you be so kind to go in our food area and get me salt and pepper? Salt and pepper, come on. <laughs> so, I'm going to use a spoon so I can mix this in once I get the salt and pepper. Uh, hey Stephanie, how you doing? <laughs> Why am I looking that way? The camera's over here. Let's see if we can try to attempt Instagram again. <laughs> um, if you don't find the salt, it's fine. <laughs> that is true. Thank you, sir. Everybody can't have salt. That is very true. Everybody can have pepper. That is very true. Everybody had a little, got a little pepper. Okay. I think pepper gonna keep. <laughs> this is also a, a tablespoon, so. And then all you have to do is just mix all this together. Nice and blended. So you can coat the chicken with the olive oil and the black pepper. And we got a guest, Mr. Clifford Jacobs, who's in silhouette. <laughs> Welcome to lunch break. <laughs> Hi. It's the boss man. <laughs> boss man. All right. So that's coated. So okay, now we're gonna that, set that this up. That was olive oil and pepper. That was olive oil and pepper. So we're gonna turn on the grill now. All right. Preheat, preheat our George Foreman grill. Right. And we'll set it right there. Can you still see it? All right, good. Just making sure. We probably could have done that while we was doing the broccoli and chicken, right? We could have it's okay. Up first, right? Because, yes, we could. Does it heat up quickly? Um, It takes about like a minute or so. Oh, okay, only a right? minute to this. That's fine. But in the meantime, what we'll do, let's take our broccoli that we had in there and check about it. This thing went from bland to wing. <laughs> Take a fork. And make sure that it is soft enough. See how the nice little florets, see how they move now? Mm -hmm. Compared to how they were ruffled before? Right, right. All right. And it's a little darker, a little darker of the green. Four minutes and a half only in the microwave. So we're gonna put this on the side now. So that's it. Yeah, we're gonna forget about that for now. Okay. And that's still steaming. So what we're gonna work on now is our marinade that we're gonna use for our chicken once we grill it on the George Foreman. So we need a bell, as always. And actually, I'll do the top. We are making sweet and sour chicken with broccoli over rice. <laughs> we'll be ready in a few more minutes. <laughs> so, watch your bowls on. Right. Now we're going to combine all the ingredients. We're going to be a little fancy over here. Because we put up already pre-prepared. In our nice little bowl of nests. Right here. That just might sound like a crazy question, but... Does yes. it matter? Uh, what goes first? What goes second? No, because they're all going to get mixed. They're all going to get mixed. Okay. So, in here, we've actually have put what we said before that we're going to put in our marinade is first brown sugar, which is one tablespoon of brown sugar. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Write these yeah. down, people. This is important. <laughs> right? We'll put that. We'll be testing on it later. Um, we're going to put the pepper flakes in. Pepper flakes. Right? This is two tablespoons. Uh, soy, soy sauce. sauce. Put that in there. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. So this okay. is like Chinese uh, restaurant style. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, one tablespoon of garlic. Okay. 
which you can also use um, uh, minced garlic if you don't want to use powder. And then the last thing is the honey, because the honey is going to take a little bit to, to drizzle down. So we're going to force it out the, the container. And this is basically what's going to provide the nice sweetness for our marinade. There we go. And see me, now we got a spoon to mix. We just mix all the ingredients together. And as you can see, it turns into like a nice little molasses type looking sauce. Mm -hmm. And that's what you really want. This actually is technically what they put on your general, general style chicken. General toast sauce? Look. General towel, general toast sauce. That's literally what it is. And it's just a coating. This is right up my alley. You can do this anytime you want. It's all that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't even eat it yet. We didn't even eat it yet. This is crazy. Alright, so we're gonna set this down. As we see, we just finished and that just, just right. went off. Right. So now, people, please practice and calm down. Don't get too excited. Because the moment this goes on there, you guys are gonna get hungry. So, let's take this, open this guy up. And take our nice little dandy fancy tongs. tongs. And of course, start placing your chicken. Oh, you hear that? You hear that sound? That sound means goodness, people. Now, what you really want to do with these is as they're cooking, is that you want to just brown each side for at least a minute or two. We don't have to flip this because you double sided, right? That is correct. Mm. So I can't fit all of them in here. So we're gonna do two sets. It's not gonna be round one and round two. So I'm gonna set this in here and let that cook. Okay? Because what we're gonna do is that once both sets of chickens are fully cooked, we're gonna put them in the marinade. Alright? So we'll dump them in the marinade. Dump it in there. In the marinade bag. That's basically it. Okay. So now, in the meantime, yes, sir. Go do your thing. I'm gonna put this here. So this is when these are fully cooked, at least in a minute. We're gonna put them here. And continue the next set. So while that's cooking, peoples, you got messages? Oh, what did I miss you? You can lift your right knees and your right leg. That is true too. All right. Hey, listen. To each person their own flavor. Okay. There's different methods of cooking, and you already know they ain't not one true way. So, listen to that. Mmm. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna drain some of this water from the broccoli. I think the next thing I'm gonna need is uh like a strainer. Oh, you know what? How about I go like this? Ta da! That worked. Now, peoples, let's get to this. So, as you can see, let's put this one here. So just check it to make sure that each one of these are cooked thoroughly. You don't want to eat uncooked chicken. We don't need salmonella and we don't need you going to the hospital. So please remember that. Thank you. <laughs> that is very true. Collapsible strainer. Yes, we need one. So let's allow that to cook a little bit more. Uh, let's continue to mix this little marinade we get over here, which smells so good. Which I don't know which one smells actually better. I don't know if the chicken smells better by itself right now, or the extra marinade that's just waiting for the chicken for us to put them in there. So, one of those two is waiting for something. Or even the broccoli that's right next to me. Look at that. Look, look at all that fat and juices that's coming out of this. Can you see that? This is crazy. Uh, 
And of course, there's the marinade. I'll set you back down there without touching the button. Because now we have you on the tripod. Ah, uh, nice. Nice. Very nice. So we're just going to put a little bit of amount of pressure. So we can continue cooking these guys. Because we just want them to be brown, but we also want them to be cooked. Because remember, never eat uncooked food. Unless it's sushi. Otherwise, they're just stuck with whatever you're eating. There we go. Mm. So I'm just going to put these guys to the side over here. As they await their brothers and sisters to fully cook as well. And this was just coated with only olive oil and black pepper. So just like we did with the previous one, let's set that in there for a minute. So it can cook. Welcome everybody in back. So as that's cooking, let's go nice and work on our broccoli over here. Here's a big bowl. Um, you know the next thing we're we'll gonna be working on is getting some bowls for this thing. <laughs> um, we're gonna have to do one this one. But I can't use this one at the moment. Which we can use. The food cover. So we can mix everything all together. Alright, let's check on our chicken. Alright. Alright. We're gonna give that one more minute. That smells good, man. I wish you guys could taste it. So let's watch this bowl. Now, as that fully starts to cook, we're gonna mix this in here. Yes, yes, I love, who does not love scallion onions? Jesus Christ. All right, so this is still on, and we're still gonna use it. What we're gonna do, is pop this this way. We got it in this grease, set it back in there. Should we water it? Now, we are going to take our marinade that we did here, and just pour it right over our chicken. There we go. Alright. 
So you can see, this is what we just did. Alright, and then all you gotta do is just, just like you did before when you had the olive oil and the, the I was gonna say salt, and the black pepper, just mix that in. Make sure every single chicken gets coated as it's in there. Make sure you dry this. fully coated our chicken with our marinade for another minute so it can cook. Alright. So as that's getting ready, we're actually gonna move these guys on the side. To move this this way so you guys can still see. We don't have a very big kitchen here. I know it looks big on the screen, but it's not very big. Hey James, what's up? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright, so as I said before, we're gonna use this to mix our chicken and our broccoli together. Okay? If you're not aware, Melissa just wrote, don't clean the grill with your bare hands. But you know, only professionals can. If I can get away with that, right? <laughs> there we go. Now mind you, look how this is looking. That is insanely crazy. And you did this here. Well, I did this here. In lunch break. Let me sit back down. Cause there's individuals who are hungry and they want to eat. Mind you, like I said, we got the rice waiting to be cooked, which only takes a minute to make. Cause this is minute rice. There you go. Turn this off. So we have turned off the grill. And all you smell is deliciousness. <laughs> We're just going to push this to the side, and of course, we're just going to mix all this together. Ooh. There you go. Oh god. Mmm! Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Now! there. Let's get our mint rice. Also, make sure you open it a little bit to vent it. And as directed, it's just a minute. Alright, so while that's cooking, we are going to take out some things so we can plate our first Taste sister. <laughs> Cliff folks! <laughs> so 
Wait, you leaving? It's about to be back in like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. That's how fast it is. I'll even give my uh his blessings. <laughs> Twenty seconds. Nineteen. Eighteen. See, you're coming down already. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of this sauce and just pour it. The first plate has been done. Already so. Bam! Look at that. Sir! Would you like to try our nice little sweet and sour chicken with rice? Yes! Oh, okay, yeah! <laughs> Let me set you guys back down here without pressing the button. Put this right here. Are you a fork or a spoon man? I'm a fork man. Do I have to get on? No, no. Oh, okay. okay. Alright, thank there you. you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. That's great. Uh, can you just peel with a glass of water? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll do that too. Okay. I don't know where you are, but <laughs> thank you. It's my go. three favorite foods. Really? I love chicken, I love broccoli, and I love rice. Listen, we all love that. Mm. Now, let's continue plating. Mind you, look at it. Only, you're welcome. <laughs> it only took a few minutes, folks. Literally, not even less than nine minutes to make everything. Because remember, I was talking through half the way of making everything. <laughs> Oh, I got frozen a little bit. All right, no, we're still good though. <laughs> All right, so let me plate the next one. All right, get the oh. ah, the rest. Very nice. Remember, as always, just pop this open to vent it, and then just put it in the microwave for a minute. That's it. That's all it takes for that. Literally. So how is it, Cliff? <laughs> so, let's put the last bit of marinade on this. There we go. And that's it, folks. That's all it was. We literally took chicken, doused it with some olive oil, some black pepper, put it on the grill, browned them on both sides, took them off the grill, made the marinade with um, soy sauce, garlic powder, pepper flakes, well, yeah, yeah pepper flakes, um, some honey, and some brown sugar. Mix it all that together. Put it in with the broccoli, which only took four minutes and a half, in the microwave with a little bit of water. Mixed it all together, and then you have your nice little meal of sweet and sour chicken with broccoli and rice. Yeah. So this one, so this way you guys can see this one, is the rice. And mind you, when you're handling this, this is hot. Just block right there. Boom. There you go. And mind you, this amount of chicken was only like about not even a pound, I think it was two, 
no, a pound and a half. And they gave a lot for at least three or four people. And that's it, folks. There you go. There you have it. How simple was that? Bam. Mad, easy, and simple. Okay. So you can have whatever you want during your lunch break. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still reading messages on, on the Facebook. But that's it. That's basically it. That's all you had to do. You know, we, we cut up the broccoli. We had everything pre-mixed. And that was it. Nothing more. So. Let me know what you guys have done. And what you want to do. This one looks like it's a short one. Oh, wait a second. Can I see messages here? Oh, no. That's the same messages from that side. Those are the same messages I had before. But, um, that's pretty much it, peoples. Nothing more to do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so that's it, folks. You know, here at lunch break, we make the foods that you can basically make and do during your break at lunch. We, and today we accomplished that by making sweet and sour chicken with broccoli over rice. So remember, folks, don't settle for less and make it your best. Catch you guys later. Lunch break. Patriotism. There's a word thrown around a lot. It inspires passionate debate and is worn like a badge of honor and with good reason. Because it means love and devotion for one's country. Love. For a word designed to unite, it can also be pretty divisive. You see, there's more to patriotism than flag sequence onesies and rodeos and quadruple cheeseburgers. Patriotism is love for a country, not just pride in it. But what really makes up this country of ours? What is it we love? It's more than just a huge rock full of animals like cougars and eagles, right? It's the people. Do me a favor. Close your eyes for a second. I want to try something else. Picture the average US citizen. Think about it. How old are they? What's their hair like? How much can they bench? You got one? OK. So chances are, the person you're picturing right now looks a little different the real average American. There are 319 million U.S. citizens. 51% are female. So first off, the average American is a woman. Cool, huh? Is that what you pictured? 54 million are Latino. 40 million senior citizens. 27 million are disabled. 18 million are Asian. That's more people in the U.S. than play football and baseball combined. 9 million are lesbian, gay, bi, transgender, more than the entire amount of people that live in the state of Virginia. Around 10 million are redhead, 5.1 million play ultimate frisbee, and 3.5 and million are Muslim. Trip the number of people currently serving in the United States military. Almost half the country belongs to minority groups. People who are lesbian, African American, and bi, and transgender, and Native American, and proud of it. We know that labels don't devalue us, they help define us keeping us dialed into our cultures and our beliefs and who we are as Americans. After all, what's more American than freedom to celebrate the things that make us, us? I mean, it's stitched into the stars and stripes of this country, from the Constitution to Gettysburg, to our motto, E Pluribus Unum, from many, one. It's even in our country's name, the United States. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, disability, sexuality, race, religion, and any other labels. Because the second any of us judge people based on those labels, we're not really being patriotic, are we? So let's try this one more time. 
Close your eyes. Picture the average Joe or Joan or Juan or Jean-Luc. The real people will make America, America. And this year, whenever you feel the urge to don those star-spangled shorts, set off fireworks the size of my biceps to show love for our country, remember that to love America is to love all Americans. Because love has no labels. Happen to you? Harmless game of charades based on film titles turning into a sudden cardiac event? Bam! Shaklaki! No? What? You think you're better than me? Well, it happens, all right? It's a real life situation! I got my daughters here. Call 911, push hard and fast, okay? Focus! And yes, the beat of staying alive really works. Shama! Disco can save lives. Yes, disco. Huh? Check it out. What do you think? What? Dance Fonte! It started out like a totally normal day. Mom! Okay, move objection deadline Dad! to the third line Dad! after survey. Oh, honey, for, for when you are, you always use the verb that's the heart. What are you doing down there? Did you finish your breakfast? Ow. Whew. Don't hit your brother. <laughs> honey, you have to eat something. Here. Okay, five minutes to carpool. Where's my coffee? Mm. You okay, Mom? Oh, I'm fine. Sandwich orders. What do you want? Almond butter and jelly. Spaghetti. Oh, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, sweetie. I am so late. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <gasps> hey, honey. Hmm. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Oh, yeah. Here. Acai, my favorite. Mm. See you guys later. Okay. Where are your shoes? Put your shoes back on, please. You know, go help your sister. We're going in three minutes. Oh my God, what am I doing? I forgot to cut off the crust. Voila, shoes on, potty if you need it. Honey, get your sister. Okay, get your shoes. Nobody move. I'm getting a dustpan. Oh, Mom. I think you're having a heart attack. Honey, do I look like the type of person who has a heart attack? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit down. <sighs> totally fine. Don't forget to wear the high socks with the shin guards. Forget about the shin guards, Mom. <gasps> Come on, Mrs. Underdog is not gonna wait. to bother you. <laughs> I think I might be having a little heart attack. <laughs> Nothing really, just some nausea, tightening of the jaw, dizziness, shortness of breath, muscle pain, achiness, this terrible pressure in my chest. 
Oh, really? They can be here in how long? <gasps> Two minutes. Can you make it 10? I thought I had gas. Turns out, I was having a heart attack. Heart disease is the number one killer of American women. So now I take care of my heart and I tell the women in my life to do the same. Sounds great, by the way. That's nice, sweetie, but that's not my heart. That is. Make it your mission to save your life and the lives of the women you love. Find out more from the American Heart Association at GoRedForWomen.org. Oh man, what's wrong, little butt? Oh, I don't know, big booty. I just feel so little and lumpy. I want to be big and bootyful like you. Oh, uh, you are beautiful. You're just different. And being different is an asset. The world is full of all kinds of great butts. For example, there are big butts, little butts, round butts, and flat butts. Buns of steel and squishy tushes, old buns and baby booty. Some butts are existential, some butts are influential. Bubba bubba butts, chisel cheeks and sassy sour fringe. These butts could break the internet with juicy booties dripping wet. They lit it after kids may say out of this world in the worst way. Wow, so all butts are awesome. Hell no! Have you seen cigarette butts? Look at this bullsh**! These little are toxic! So, uh, I guess what we're saying is that all butts are better than cigarette butts. Our love gets better every day. Our friendship has no religion. Love is about who you are and not what you are. I don't see a wheelchair. I see the love of my life. Our love is greater than anyone's hate. 